Welcome again to Screencasts Online. I'm Darcy, and once more, it's software season. Apple announced so many new features to all its operating systems during WWDC. And over the coming months, we'll see the official releases of all of them. Wanting to be well prepared, we've created videos to coincide with these releases, starting with iOS and iPadOS 17, which we'll be covering today. Compared to previous years, it doesn't feel like iOS 17 has made a massive, definitive change to any one thing, and instead has made a considerable amount of smaller changes to existing apps and settings. With that in mind, today's video will be covering most of what was announced. Some segments truly are a single additional feature to an app. Others are more expansive. For most of today's video, I'll be using my iPad where the features are the same on iPhone and iPad, otherwise we'll switch to iPhone. So let's dig in and see what's new. Standby is one of the few brand new features introduced in iOS 17, exclusive to the iPhone. When your device is charging and turned 90 degrees, it enables standby mode where you can view customized widgets. This probably works best when your phone is on a standing MagSafe charger. The idea is you could place it anywhere and use it as an information screen. You can see my standby has an analog clock and the calendar, along with my battery charge level. If I press a finger down on either, I can edit the widgets. These are the same widgets you'll find on your home screen. You can scroll down the list and edit any of them, like the location for the weather widget. Before going back to the main standby screen, you can see two options on the right. With Smart Rotate on, Standby will move through the widgets we've just scrolled through periodically. You can delete any of them by pressing the minus button at the top left of each widget, or add more by selecting the plus button on the top left corner of the display. With widget suggestions, I haven't quite been able to work out how it's suggesting widgets when enabled, but I'm sure the answer will reveal itself as the official support documents roll out. Back to the main standby page, and you'll have noticed this red arrow icon at the top center. This indicates that a live activity notification is available. Press it, and we're taken to a flight I'm tracking with Flighty. With a live activity notification, the information will update and change depending on the status of the flight. As another example, Uber also use live activities, so you can track your food delivery. Tapping on the notification takes me straight to the app though you'll often have to unlock with Face ID to go beyond standby. You can also access apps by tapping on their widgets. If you swipe to the left on standby, you can move through different screens. The first is Photos, kind of like a screensaver. Hold down your finger to scroll through the suggested photos. You can tap the eye icon at the top left corner of an image to prevent it from being shown, or add more from your library by pressing the plus at the top left corner. Select an image to return to standby, and swipe left again to show different clock faces. As before, hold down your finger to scroll through and select a different style. Siri can also be activated in standby, taking up the whole screen with information about your request. Siri, what's the weather in Vancouver? In this case, tap the answer and it will open the weather app. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.